there everyone. I thought it could be fun to make a room box with my 3D printer. So I started it up and printed a lot of parts that I designed on Fusion 360. Here it is printing in two times speed. It took like forever to print the window frame, the side wall, the back wall and the floor. But it came out pretty, pretty cool and they should be able to pop in together in these uh, small notches that I made um, and ridges. And I am using Tamaya cement glue to glue these part all together because it won't stick together without any glue. I will leave a link in the info box below for all my STL files so you can print this room for yourself. First I glue the floor to the back wall. Then I glued the side wall in place. That was a bit tricky. I'm going to make the windows in the windows with resin. And for that, I am taping the back side of the window with some resin tape. You can find that on eBay. I'm going to fill every uh, hole in the windows. I fill in some hard UV resin into each part of the window and I make sure that the resin is nice and even uh, throughout these uh, four holes in the windows. Then I'm taking my UV light and I'm starting above the window and I'm going closer to the window slowly. And when I'm ready, I'm putting it into my UV lamp. By starting slowly with the UV torchlight, I avoided to warp the window so it's still straight and nice. Now I'm just going to peel off this sticky tape and I'm going to cleanse off residues. So now it's nice and clean and I can glue it into my little room. The first cabin is quite easy to make. This is just with three small drawers in a tabletop and of course the handles for the drawers. I glue all my parts down, but you don't have to if you want to be able to put things in another way in there. I printed the shelf part that is going to go into the corner next to the window. This way your furniture will not be um, having trouble around the window. And there will also be some storage room above the kitchen table. And I'm going to glue in this little cabinet with the drawers that we just made because the shelf part that we just put in there actually fits this little shelf unit 
so the shelf is going only over this little shelf unit. And now for the oven, the stove, I cut out a piece of clear packaging for the window in the stove door and I'm gluing it on the back side of the door. I glue the heat plate on the top of the stove. And I'm placing all the dial buttons for the stove. Then I put in these pieces for the stove. And I have this really thin steel wire that I'm going to cut into length. Place the door and I'm just going to put it in here like you see me do here. And this can be a little tricky. That is all for the stove and it's ready to go into the room box. Now to a small cabin refridge. These frames are printed with a slant or a uh, edge on them and the edge is going to turn up. Just glue in this uh, translucent part into the edge of the shelf. Do that with both of these. Then I glue these small holders on the fridge door. Make sure they are turned the right way around so the opening is on the top of them. Again, I'm using my thin wire and I'm scooping it down through the door and the cabinet. And here I'm just putting a piece in and cutting off the excess and making sure that nothing is uh, peeking out. Glue on the handle and the tabletop. And the tabletop also have this slanted side on one of the edges and that is the front piece. Now you just put in the shelves and you're all done with the small refridge. Now to the kitchen sink. I'm starting with these two gray parts and I'm painting them silver. And I'm using my silver ink paint for that because I like the result of it. Then I glue the garbage can on the inside of the door. And I glue in the drain, that is this piece that we made silver. And I'm making sure that I align the hole at the drain with the hole in the sink. I'm going to place the door onto the cabin just like we did on the other furnitures. And gluing on the handle. Now for the tabletop. I made one that can go over two furnitures that I am using in this one. So I'm going to glue the tabletop to the sink first and then I'm going to glue my little refridge next to the uh, sink cabin. I did make a print file for the sink tabletop for only the sink. And I glued the faucet into the little hole in the tabletop. So now we have a few more components to put into our kitchen. You can either leave them loose so you can uh, swap them around like you want to. But I am going to glue them in off camera. I printed the extractor hood and I have that right here. It's two parts where you just glue this little shelf unit into the extractor hood itself. And I'm going to glue mine onto the wall so it's stuck and I know where it is. I printed two wall cabinets and again I used some clear packaging plastic for the door and I placed the door with this wire just like all the other doors. And I'm going to glue them in place also. I did not make some kind of hanging system so you could just 
hang them and swap them around because I wanted the things to be an easy print. This little coffee set that I have here for the coffee filter is uh, a old print that I'm just using for this little house as I think it's perfect. So I'm just putting a little glue on here and gluing this one on the wall where I want it. And the coffee filter thing is going on the shelf. I ended up gluing a magnet inside the cabinets and on the uh, door of the cabinets in the place where the handles are. This way they close a bit better than before. So I'm just going to put that into the shelf in the upper cabinet. Then I found these chairs that I printed a long time ago. They fit perfect into this little kitchen. And I made this table that match the chairs. And that's all there is for this little kitchen for now. If you have some ideas for things that I can 3D print for this little kitchen, then please tell me in the comments below. This is all for today. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.